Good morning, Antwerp Archers. It's Monday, September 17th, and it's time for Archers Live with Morgan Isley and Christine Boylan. Coming up, we have our first student of the week for 2018-2019 school year. Stick around to find out who will receive a gift to the Guinness House. Archers Live starts right now. Today we have Paley and Jaslyn from Mrs. Mavis's class to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you please stand? We pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the lunch menu for today we have, we are having cheeseburger, baked beans, an apple and milk or salad bar. On the calendar for today, there will be a meeting for all middle and high school pride card holders during AA Today in the Ox Gym. Again, there will be a meeting for all middle and high school pride card holders during AA Today in the Ox Gym. For athletic events this evening, junior high volleyball is home with Stryker at 4.30. JV volleyball football is home with Fairview at 5. And JV and varsity volleyball are home with Fayette at 5.30. The theme for tonight's game is America. We had a lot of birthdays this past weekend. Clayton in 1B and Robert in 1A both turned 7 on Friday. Mrs. Leasty celebrated her birthday on Friday as well. We'll pause for a moment so you can get a good look at this blast from the past. We're not sure who the guy in the poster in the background is, but we're pretty sure it's not Mr. Leasty. On Saturday, Bentley in 1C turned 7, Tyler in 4B turned 10. Cohen Hitzman in 7th grade turned 13, and Gage McMichael in 9th grade turned 15. Yesterday, Brady and KC turned 6, Blaine in 4A turned 10, and Stefan Walker in the 9th grade turned 16. We hope you all had a great birthday weekend and enjoyed your day off on school Friday. Elementary students, make sure you stop by the office for a birthday pencil. Today, Izzy Meyer and Alex Zilstra turned 7, both in 7th grade turned 13, and Isabel Graham in 8th grade turns 14. Happy birthday to you three. Now here's 4th grader Emery Jones with your Monday morning mini archer update. Thanks, Emery. It's time for our first students of the week, sponsored by the Athletic Boosters and chosen by their teachers. In the middle school, our student is Cyrus Gale. Mrs. Saylor says that Cyrus has an excellent start to the school year. He is attentive, participates, volunteers, and goes the extra mile each day in class. He is an asset to the class, and she looks forward to seeing him continue to grow as a student this year. The high school student is Carmen Cruz. Carmen is a first year member of the yearbook. The yearbook staff participated in a photo challenge during the first three weeks of school. Students had to take a variety of photos th that required them to use the speed and aperture settings on their cameras. Mrs. Sorrell said that Carmen's photos were excellent. She made a point to use a variety of backgrounds, framing, and angles in her photos, especially her po portraits. Congratulations to both of you. Please stop by Mr. Sisson's room to get your Genesis House gift card. Enjoy. Congratulations as well to our Varsity Cheer Competition Squad on placing first this weekend at Liberty Central. In more sports news, the cross-country teams traveled north for the Fayette Invitational on Saturday. It was a good day for the Archer Harriers. The Varsity girls placed six out of 16 schools. They were led by Chloe Saul and Kate Farr. The Varsity boys placed third out of 17 schools and were led by Jake Ryan and Alex Aiden McAlexander. The junior high boys com competed as individuals and all ran their best times of the season. They're, they were led by Avon Johnson and Eli Reinhardt. The junior high girls placed second out of 15 schools and were led by racers and new school record racer winner and new school record holder Ariel Snyder. Coming in second place on the Antwerp roster was Haley Jewell. Nice job to all our cross country runners. They, were, they are back in action Saturday at the Widewater Invitational. That's all we have for today. We hope you have get your week off to a good start. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.